gives you advice, yeah, on how to live your life. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel. I'm Cammie. Today's video is going to be our one month um, post birth update, um, baby update and mommy update. So first I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys Ari. Here she is. Here she is. Oh cute. We got little socks on. Little socks on, got a little sweater on, she's got a bow on. Okay, so today's video is going to be baby update and mommy update. She's being a little fussy now because she's trying to poop. <laughs> Hopefully she works that out. But I'm going to go ahead and start with Ari. So if you guys are unaware, um, I this is my second baby and I had her on January 16th. So I guess I can go ahead and start with her weight and get you guys updated on what she currently weighs. So when she was born, she was like 6 pounds, um, 4 point, or point 4 something ounces, but they just went ahead and said 6 pounds, 5 ounces. And then she was, let me make sure I have this right, she was 20 inches long and um, her head circumference they said was 34. Um, so that's how big she was when I gave birth birth to her and um she was considered to be on the smaller side when i was pregnant they thought that she had growth restriction and all of that uh fun stuff um but she was just little so she just ended up being on the smaller side and then for her next weigh in we got her weighed at um two days because they wanted us we got out of the hospital in 24 hours and then the next day they wanted us to go to an appointment for her oh we're taking out our passy um so at her next weigh-in they said she was five pounds 11 ounces which i know when we left the hospital she was like right at six pounds so she, she lost about like five ounces in that 24 hour period and then she was five pounds 11 ounces at two days um, and they didn't do her height or her head circumference because, I mean, she wouldn't have grown in that time. And then at the 16 days, which was her two-week appointment visit, um, her height was still 20 inches, so she hadn't grown in height yet. And her weight was 7 pounds, 0 0.2 ounces, which was a significant improvement from 5 pounds, 11 ounces. And um, they did her head circumference, but... It was 33.5 centimeters, and when she was born, they said it was 34 centimeters. So, hey. I don't know if you guys can tell, but she's, like, grasping onto my shirt. Um, she does that a lot with, like, my hair or my necklaces, and it's I think it's funny. And then, okay, so um, back to her weight. Um, so we just had her month visit on the 16th um, of February. And her height was 20.3 inches, so she grew 0.3 um, inches. And then her weight was 8 pounds, 1.4 ounces, which was, uh, you know, obviously a lot, also, you know, more than 7 pounds, 0.2 ounces. And then they had her head circumference at 35 centimeters, so it gained, uh, you know, a centimeter um, in a month. I am really, really proud of her weight, just because being pregnant the whole time, um, they thought just like quite a few things were wrong with and I had gestational diabetes and all of that stuff so it was just really nice to hear that she was growing outside of the womb very nicely because that's originally why they wanted to induce me and get her out um, sooner just because they thought she might grow better outside in the you know actual world rather than in my tummy and she's doing really well with growing which makes me very happy because I am breastfeeding um, and she's had a lot more trouble breastfeeding than my son has like she doesn't always latch the greatest it might take a few go around she can get really upset if she doesn't get it right away and it's something we're just trying to work through um, it's definitely something that I get emotional about very very easy when she starts getting frustrated because she hasn't latched on good um, it usually happens because she works herself up and then she can't like pay attention to you know just focusing on the boobies she just gets all worked up um and it's just a lot different than my experience breastfeeding my son um so i mean every breast breastfeeding experience is different every person is different 
every baby is different so it's definitely something to keep in mind um you know i'm gonna try to continue as long as i can i did breastfeed my son for two years not sure if you know we'll get that far with her or not um but i'm just trying to do my best and you know breastfeed her but we are doing every three hours sometimes during the night it can be like two and a half hours it kind of just depends um i don't set a timer i just kind of wake up at that point or if she's being fussy i wake up um, i do well i don't set like a timer that goes off i set like a stopwatch to know how long it's been whenever i do wake up and look over at her or if it's around you know that time i just kind of wait and then wake her up or if she's sleeping really soundly that can be something where well, i have to go ahead and change her diaper to get her to wake up so that she can eat um she does have a little trouble getting the poop out sometimes as you can see she's getting a little fussy trying to trying to get it out hey you're okay, okay. but i know with my son he also had um you know trouble getting getting the poos out and the gas problems and all that kind of stuff as well um, so I'm kind of used to that. We do have gripe water that we give her and it seems to help some. Um, I know eventually whenever they get, you know, they got to figure it out themselves. It has to do with your abdominal and all that stuff, um, to push it out without, you know, struggling. Um, but for milestones, I will say she is getting a lot better with her head strength. I will insert some pictures and some clips and stuff like that for you guys. Um, she's getting a lot better with her head strength. We do do tummy time. Um, we don't necessarily do it every day. It just kind of depends. Um, I try to do it most days throughout the week. She does um, get tuckered out very easily doing it, especially if she rolls over. Um, she does roll over probably about once every time we do tummy time. Uh, but after that, like, she is frustrated and she's tuckered out. And so that will be the end of the tummy time. Um, so it, she works herself up to rolling over and then we're, like, done with it. We don't do it for that long yet. Um, probably about five minutes if we do it. I haven't, you know, wanted to do it longer. Um, she hasn't wanted to do it longer. She'll get frustrated. a certain point um but i definitely think she came out just being really strong um because she did roll over at a week old and she kept doing it and she's now a month old and she can still do it and i know with my son um he rolled over at about almost two months um so yeah she definitely just came out like strong like she when you do diaper changes you really have to watch her because she wants to flip all the time i know when we had her appointment the lady whenever we were doing um i can't i can't remember what she was measuring for or something but she was like wow she like she's trying to roll over i'm like yeah like she's a little feisty girl like she's she's impressed me quite a bit um just being so little and just being a little powerhouse um so for milestones she does smile sometimes but i definitely think it's just gas related it's not because of me um she doesn't really look at you yet which i can't remember when my son started to like really truly look at me um i know she looks behind us a lot and she looks into lights and things like that um, she only look at you for like a little bit, but I know when I had looked it up, um, I think around the six week mark is when they start focusing on you more rather than things that are behind you or the big old bright lights. Um, she still is sleeping a lot throughout the day. She's getting a little bit more awake time, um, here and there. Like she'll just, especially after she has had a poopy like um because she'll be working up to that you know she'll be in her swing i'll be holding her or whatever and she'll be working up to it and then after she does it she'll be content for a little while where she just looks at everything like her little dangly things that are on her swing or whatever she'll just sit there and look at them and be chill um so that's about when her wake time usually is and then you know course it's cyber change eat and then repeat all of that kind of stuff um 
She does make some different sounds, like she'll make some cute little coos occasionally. Um, I'll try to also insert videos if I have them of that. Kind of like sounds that she can make. There's not really too much going on at a month old. Um, she does sleep in a bassinet next to our bed, which with my son we did co-sleep, but I am trying my hardest not to do that this time. Um, so she does sleep in a bassinet next to our bed. Um, she does take a pacifier. She also does, I try to give her a bottle of breast milk at least once a week. Um, she does have one bottle she took to immediately, so I am not changing bottles. She immediately took it. Um, but I just, I pump and I freeze breast milk, and then I try to give it to her once a week, so that way, in case somebody needs to watch her, you know, you never know what can go wrong. Um, if, if we need to, like, she will be able to take a bottle. Um, but I do want to breastfeed for as long as I possibly can, and... I will, of course, insert some pictures also of her. But again, not too much is really happening at a month old. Not too many milestones yet. Um, so I guess I will go ahead and talk about my postpartum at a month. I will, oof, I will include a video of my postpartum body after two kids. Um, I am back down to, I think, about the weight that I was when I got pregnant, um, I haven't really lost or gained weight since like two weeks I've been at that point um, and haven't gained or lost anything. I do have loose skin and all of that. I am still bleeding. I am no longer wearing diapers. I am just wearing um, panty liners. Sorry, Parker is on the bed being crazy. Um, yeah, so I am wear wearing just panty liners now. Um, so not too much bleeding, but I mean, there's still stuff in the pad every day and I do change them twice a day. It's not fresh looking blood at all. I know this might be TMI, but this is, you know, about postpartum and all of that after birth. Um, I do wear nursing pads in my bras because I do tend to leak whenever the milk does come in or whenever she is eating on the other breast. Um, I do leak occasionally and it can sometimes squirt out and if she hasn't latched right away or she pops out it definitely squirts. Um, see postpartum symptoms. I am, I'm not necessarily sore. Um, my back hurts and it throbs a lot so I'm gonna have to figure out something to do about that. Um, I do have postpartum dandruff and itchy scalp, which I need to find something to help with because it it's an annoying it's an annoying symptom. But I feel like that's pretty much it for my postpartum stuff. I do try to sleep on my stomach now, um, just because I was a stomach sleeper before, and I really enjoy sleeping on my tummy. Other than just being tired and taking care of, you know, two kids now, there's not really much, like, crazy anything happening with my body. Um, I will have, you know, my appointment pretty soon for six weeks to get that okay for everything. Um, and they'll check me out and stuff then. But yeah, I think this is probably going to be it for the baby update and mommy update at one month. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!